Many Linux distributions, um, the way they work is you have to... Um, they, they're customizable, but at the same time, if you're going to get something for daily desktop use, um, you are pretty much stuck with what they come with. So it's really best to look at what it comes with and what its purpose is before you download it. There is one distribution that is really taking this um, customization um, and openness of Linux to the next level, and that is allowing the end user to select, and I mean this literally, select what applications go into the distribution and basically build the distribution from scratch. And this is done through http colon slash slash custom dot nimblex n i m b l e x dot net this is and i am not kidding this is a uh custom what, the, what it's called is the custom nimblex live cd generator it says here from this page you can easily generate your customized operating system that will only be available for you and the people you want to make copies for. This is a new wave of Linux, and and here you see it first. And from then on, below that, there's a right arrow, and you start to go in and you build your distribution. So let's go in here. I'm going to click the right arrow. And from here, you have minimal. Uh, use Usually minimal customization is not the reason you came here. <laughs> but um, if you want... To get standard Nimblix, choose this option. Custom. If you have been using Linux before and you are familiar with some of the software packages, you'll like this one. Recommended. This mode is very similar to the previous one, but it has the advantages that it it has the advantages that it automatically points you to some of the most useful packages for day-to-day -day activities. So let's click custom, and I'm going to click the right arrow. Now, what we have next is customize your Nimblix 2007 V2. Select the categories that interest you. And we have office, games, network, graphics, multimedia, system, develop, uh, libraries, and drivers. And you can just customize by selecting whatever you want. So let's click office, um, network, multimedia, and system. And right here we have office. None of this is selected now. You pick what you want. And you have KOffice, OpenOffice, uh, Scribus, Dia, I don't know if that's Dia or Dia, KDessert, D I S S E R T, uh, Kyle, uh, PDF Edit, Qualculate, um, in Network, we have Firefox, Opera, Samba, excuse me. Wireshark, Remote Desktop, Pigeon in me Messaging, you have Skype, Sim, uh, Conversation, Thunderbird, Nessus, uh, OpenVPN, uh, KVPNC, and if, any, if you're wondering what it is, it gives you a description. For example, here for KVPNC, KVPNC is a KDE fronted, for, uh, is, K, is a KDE front end for various VPN clients. It supports Cisco, VPN, VPNC, IPsec, uh, FreeS, WAN, OpenSWAN, uh, StrongSWAN, Raccoon, uh, PPTP, PPTP client, OpenVPN, L2TP, and so on and so forth. So it gives you the description. So we have all this stuff. Uh, you have Torque, KTorrent, Tor Button. Uh, I'm not gonna go through all of these. I'm just going to give you a few examples to save time for the rest of them. Uh, multimedia, you have Amarok, you have Zine, Kino, uh, Rose Garden, uh, FFmpeg, Aud Audacious, um, and under System, they actually allow you to get VirtualBox pre-installed, which is nice, because uh, I use VirtualBox to run my, my Linux distributions on my Mac, so that's cool. Uh, you have ClamAV, uh, Wine, which allows you to run Windows applications, uh, Man Pages. Uh, let's see what else do we have. Um, the last item, Fonts. I wouldn't select that if I were you. 
but now we're now we're at wallpapers and you can select general fields paradise uh, space abstract girls that'll be helpful for the single guys that are watching this um, upload and you can act, upload actually allows you to upload your own but you can customize your wallpaper so let's customize our wallpaper and I've done that and then you have your volume uh, when we go into you have um, basically sound configuration panel uh, you have uh, volume KDE sounds boot audio greeting so you have uh, KDE sounds you can select we'll say KDE logout 2 and it's going to play here okay I'm gonna turn up let's see that I'm gonna turn up my volume so you can hear that again I'm gonna play KDE So you can customize, you can hear and customize your sounds. So that's what I want, so we'll go with that. That was login, and then this one was for logout. So let's go in ahead, and then you can configure your root and your user account, and when that's all said and done, you select your language, and then at the very end, it will give you um, an option to go ahead and burn it. Now, one thing to be aware of is up at the very top, there is a bar. And this bar shows you how much space you've used, and this would fit on a single disk. For example, right now I've used 200 megabytes of the 700 available on a disk. But again, like I said, the website is http colon slash slash custom dot nimblex, N-I-M, B as in Bravo, L, E as in Echo, X as in X-Ray. Dot net and this uh, you've just had a quick peek at what's available a lot of stuff and it's great stuff so this is a really nice way to customize your operating system from the ground up for the end user and I, I love this I applaud it it's fantastic the only glitch I found so far was downloading it download um, I didn't go ahead with it it was gonna be about five hours and I'm not too happy with the five hours considering that I've downloaded 700 megabyte distributions in under 10 minutes with my end grade wireless connection. So uh, that's the only thing that was a little bit of a problem. But the reason why it was so slow, by the way, uh, was because the server that it's coming from is a very old piece of equipment. They even tell you that, that it's an old, old piece of equipment. They cannot afford the upgrades. At least not now they can't. Um, what I'm saying is, you know, maybe some donations would help them. But they cannot afford the upgrades, so you'd expect a long download. I was expecting that. I was not expecting five hours. I might go back tomorrow because the distribution is kept for 12 hours. And so basically, uh, right now, it is about, I, I think I, cust I completed my distribution at 12.30 a.m. So at 12.30 p.m. tomorrow, it will be deleted. And that means that I can go in and recreate uh, a distribution from the ground up, download it, see if that's not going to be faster. Um, but, you know, you get the idea. Give it a shot. I think it's fantastic. I wish they would do this for a GNOME-based distribution so that you can have accessibility on top of the package. Uh, that's the only thing they didn't have in that, and I was kind of disappointed at that. They didn't have accessibility as part of it. I mean, you can go and get it once you installed it, but still, it would be nice to have it come with it, like Ubuntu comes with a screen reader out of the box. So, you know, overall, it's fantastic. I love it. Give it. A, you guys should give it a shot. Um, if you're new to Linux, I wouldn't do this, but if you're an experienced or moderate Linux user, um, go for it. Uh, thank you for listening, or, and uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Comments are welcome, and have a nice evening.